welcome back to Southern Cross Stitches. My name is M. Whoops, we've got a thread somewhere. And um, I, let me get rid of that. It, I am continuing the series of my summer sewing capsule, my summer capsule for, let me get it right this time because last time I went back like 20 years, um, 2023 and 2024. Um, and today I'm going to share with you what my plans are for making in the way of shorts. Um, if you are um, like me, I carry my weight in my lower region. And in recent years, as I've put on a little bit more, hang on, my husband's calling. Okay, sorry, I'm back. My husband just rang. Apparently we've just bought ourselves a little mini Cooper. Um, <laughs> things that happen during the vlog that you find out. Anyway, so that will probably be really handy for running around town. Um, Okie dokies. So we're getting on with my uh, summer shorts. And as I was saying, I am going to be taking my time with my pants and shorts in this sewing time as I sew up this capsule because I'm trying to get the fit right for my lovely little body shape so let's get started with what I have chosen um, in the way of patterns and fabrics so my first jumper pair oh it's a Pietrus again I absolutely loved wearing these shorts over the um, last summer holidays so I am actually going to sew up the Pietrus but this time in this off-white I'll see if I can bring it up for you. Off white, and I believe it is a twill if I remember correctly. Um, and I haven't worked with that sort of fabric before, but I think it would be good to have a little bit of heavier weight for shorts uh, on. Yes, I, I don't think they'll ride up as much. If I ever use viscose in shorts, I always have trouble. So we will see how we go. With these it is it feels that little bit heavier it's got that bit of weight to it so I'm looking forward to giving them a go once again is white the best option in pants for me I don't know I may have to find the best stain remover out there but we'll give it a whirl we'll give it a whirl this time so that's pant, pant pattern and fabric number one okay number two is I am actually going to sew up the June uh, pants, shorts by Helen's Closet. And I think, let me turn it around for you. I am going to just make the simple shorts. I think that'll be nice. I'll be able to pair them with a lot of things. I think this sporty style is really cute. I love that. Um, I just don't think uh, I'd be able to make it work with as many different outfits as what I could just a standard pair of shorts. So, oh, I forgot to tell you where this fabric came from. Sorry. This fabric is from May. It's not May. My Design in Australia. And then this is the fabric. I plan to sew up these pair in. And so it's that sort of raspberry color. I don't know how that's coming across for you guys. Um, it's probably a little bit lighter on here than what it is in real life. It's actually a bit of a darker color. Um, and it is a linen from Spotlight. Oh, I saw it there. And sometimes these colors are hard to come by so you Grab what you can when you can get them. So that is pan option number two that will be getting made up. <coughs> Whoops. Pan short. Shorts number three that will be getting made up is the Brampton shorts by Itch to Stitch and I am planning on doing, I don't know, 
her fabric's quite busy, can't tell. But there is a bow there, I'll turn it around. I'm planning on making this pair here with the beautiful bow. It's got a little bit of a paper bag waist. I'll see how I go with that. I've got a little bit of a tummy these days. Um, so I'll see how I feel with that. But we're gonna try these things, don't we? And I am going to be making these in this beautiful dusty pink. Um, and it is a linen and it is from my designs. So I picked that one up from there. Um, and I'm looking forward to giving these ones a go. So it'll be interesting to see whoops, how they turn out. And my lucky last pair of shorts for my summer capsule um, for 23-24 is actually going to be the Pattern Emporiums. Let me remember that. Oh, it's down the side here. Pleats to meet you pants, but I'm going to make the short version. So I'm going to make this version here. Um, I'm, I may put the pockets in, I may not. I haven't decided that yet, um, whether that's what I will do. But I'm going to give this a go, and I don't know if it's going to work out because, as I said, light fabrics don't always seem to work. But I bought this um, rayon model from... Lush Fabrics, was it early this year? I can't remember, I think it was, because I had plans on a winter wardrobe thing and then all the moving and how things happened. So, didn't happen. But I'm planning on making it in this fabric and I think it will be beautiful and soft. We'll see how we go with the riding up. Um, if I have that problem, I'll know for the future not to go down that path with this type of fabric. But this fabric will be getting use for them and something else later on that I will share with you. Anyway, everyone, I'm going to leave you there. That is my shorts plans for that capsule. Um, oh, if I want to talk about what I'm wearing today, today is the uh, poncho from Pattern Emporium. And I made this, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. Does anyone else get to a stage where all your years just run together? Your weeks, your days, and you no longer know what's what. That's where I am with life. But anyways... <laughs> Uh, it is, yes, the, the poncho, um, with love poncho from Pattern Emporium. And I've just got it on with my ready to wear jeans. Oh, and underneath I have one of my, um, uh, sorry, I'm having a brain moment. Um, keep it simple, babe, tease. And this was like one of my second makes and yeah, I definitely made that one a couple of years ago. So I love that for just every day and around the house and fantastic. So I'm going to leave you all there. Have a wonderful day, whether it is a morning, afternoon, evening, whatever you're up to. And I'll be back um, with more of my series about my capsule that I am putting together. Uh, sending lots of blessings your way. See you later, everyone. Bye.